Um, I think there's great future for this country if a book can attract such a large group. I was overwhelmed uh, at an event in Delhi, at another event in Mumbai, and to see uh, Hyderabad too uh, attract such a large group of people, many of course uh, friends and relatives. So. I guess I should discount for what 20% of the audience, uh, which are really friends and relatives. But um, it is heartening that a book can uh, attract so many uh, people. I don't know uh, how many of you, I don't know how many of you read The Economist, but The Economist had an interesting comment in its last issue about the book that's become a bestseller globally by Thomas Piketty on capital 20th century. Where, where the economist says that at least one part or a substantial, in fact a substantial part of the success of Piketty's book owes to the timing of the book. And I think every author, um, when he writes a book, always always prays that he gets the timing right. Uh, in the case of my book, that a large part of the success of that book was due to timing. And I guess every author, when he writes a book, uh, worries about timing, whether you get the timing right. And the interesting thing in the case of my book was that the timing became itself a subject of controversy. The only word I will have on that issue, and I will end comment on, on that one subject, is that I'm pretty sure that if the book had come out this week, I wouldn't have attracted such a large group. Uh, um, I also believe that if the book had come out now, uh, those who were unhappy with the fact that it came out earlier, before the election, um, would have said this fellow didn't have the guts to publish this book when we were in power and now that we are out of power and licking our wounds, he's rubbing salt into them. So I guess timing was a no-brainer and while I did have several rounds of arguments uh, with my publisher uh, and as I've said many times on television,